Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the best way to get a precise cut when you have two intersecting meshes, uh, which is the Boolean modifier. So it's sort of like doing a knife tool where you take a cut at one end, you cut the other end, and then you delete all the extra vertices. Except the computer is doing it for you in this case, which is ideal because humans are never going to be as good as a computer about making precise mathematical calculations. Um, so we, I have these um, square boxes here, which are supposed to be cutouts for glass in this uh, architectural frame. And uh, this square, of course, now I could play around with the vertice, I could cut it across, but we're going to use the Boolean modifier. So you select the object that you want to make the cut on, you add a Boolean modifier, and in this object box, you select the object which your first mesh is going to be interacting with, or intersecting with. And if you want to make a cut between these two, you want to choose difference. Intersect would be if you want the only thing remaining to be the areas where those two are overlapping. But we want the opposite of that. We want to remove the difference between these two meshes uh, from the first mesh. So uh, I don't know if we can get a preview here. But if I go ahead and hit apply, um, well, you have to do it not in edit mode. And then I go back into edit mode, you can see that it just made a perfect cut right down to the last pixel all across that line for that first or the second object. So I can do the same thing over here for this one. So you add a Boolean modifier. You select the difference object, you change it to difference, you hit apply, and essentially you're good to go. And now you can see here that uh, this is still overlapping with the object to the left, so you might have to do this multiple times if it needs to fit into multiple objects. But that's really all there is to it. I think it's a much nicer alternative than doing manual knife cuts, though that would be another option. In any case, I hope this video has helped some of you guys out there. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future Blender content.